morning y'all welcome back to another video another vlog i'm starting this vlog on a wednesday i just needed a couple days from after the weekend to just kind of recoup get myself back into order because past weekend was outside lands here in san francisco which is a really really fun music festival i hadn't been in a couple years but like pretty last minute i got tickets i didn't end up doing a full vlog unfortunately but i did get some clips here and there the experience this time around was amazing and very just once in a lifetime don't know what i did to just deserve three-day VIP but it was such a treat. It kind of blows my mind that they're able to set up a whole music festival out in the park, Golden Gate Park, which is a go-to route for if I'm going on a run. I'm just so used to seeing it very empty or very few people walking, cycling, running. But yeah, on the topic of running, I'm actually gonna go out there today, head out for a quick like three to four mile run. We'll see, we'll see. I'll take you guys with me. It'll be a pretty chill, mellow, easy run. We can use that time to hang out, catch up. It's honestly pretty freaking chilly right now, so I'm proud myself for even thinking to go out there because normally I wouldn't. Sometimes you gotta do the things that you don't necessarily feel like doing. If you only did things when you really wanted to do them, that wouldn't really get you far. I'm just charging up some of my things, so let's go grab them and head out. Got my not so organized charging corner here. Got the shocks and then my phone. Also, look at this photo. We got this taken at the festival by one of the photographers and guys, it's so high quality. I love it. Nice easy run, really just focusing on keeping my heart rate low because to be honest, I think in my half marathon training when I would have easy runs, my heart rate would be like 170 something. Like I never actually took my easy runs easy. I'm really just trying to enjoy this, take it easy. I'm listening to slower music, which I feel like helps too. Honestly, that's probably my problem. I always like to put like music. Naturally, that just makes me want to speed up. Shall we do an update? Okay, it's like mid-August now. I think it's August 13th or 14th today. Summer has been pretty booked and busy with the half marathon at the end of July and the outside lens weekend right after. The next thing that I have that I'm, I guess, training for is my big volleyball tournament, which is happening here in San Francisco. My team, along with like 180 other teams from across the country. We're gonna be playing at Moscone Center, which is crazy. That's like the biggest convention center in all of SF. So we'll be there Labor Day weekend. If you guys wanna come through, I'll be playing. You can watch a lot of really, really cool volleyball. I did a whole vlog on the tournament from last year, which was in Baltimore. We only have a couple more weeks of practice left, probably four to five volleyball practices at most. I definitely wanna just be in the gym, get my strength up, still do my runs to keep up that endurance. In terms of races, you guys, I, I have something that might be in the works. Oh my gosh. Literally had a phone call this morning and it hasn't been confirmed yet, but it's looking like it will be very soon. I don't want to say anything yet. Maybe by the end of this video, or like sometime during this video, I'll be able to announce, but holy crap. saves the day. Mm. There's nothing I love more than coming home after a run and having my glass of element. Of course, it's important to drink water, rehydrate, but why not amp it up? Add some flavor, add some electrolytes. They're pretty much the only electrolytes I drink. I love that they come in so many different flavors. So depending on the day, I might be craving different flavors. And today, I was in a mango chili mood. <laughs> I love to keep them stocked at home. So I have a drawer that I just go to. I just take the box that it comes in. I snip off the edges and then, then set them in a drawer like this. That way they're somewhat separated. They come in these individual packets, which makes it super easy to grab and go. Especially if I'm traveling, I just grab a couple of these, throw them into my bag, and then I can drink them throughout my trip. Flavor 
flavors are nice and sweet without being too sweet and plenty salty, which I personally like, especially after a workout where you're just sweating out. I feel like the saltiness is so refreshing. If you guys place an element order using my link, then they will throw in a free sample pack, eight different packs of different flavors so you can try out. I honestly really like all the flavors, but for some people, they have their favorites. I know my boyfriend loves the raspberry. My top two would probably be the lime and the orange. But yeah, it's always nice to try before you buy and commit to a full box of them. You guys can use my link. It's going to be drinkelement.com slash sanfrancisco. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash sanfrancisco. I will have that linked down below for y'all as always. But yes, this is my ritual right here. Come home, rehydrate, eat food. All right, I just popped this into the microwave for like a minute. Crystal and I got Hookfish Co., which if you're ever in San Francisco and you happen to be in the Sunset District, you gotta go there because they have really good burritos, really good fish and chips. We got this for dinner last night and I could only finish half my burrito because we also got fish and chips to share, but it does make for some really good leftovers, I hope. Mmm. Oh yeah, I love the cabbage that they use in this. This is our fish burrito. I think they use rockfish. But yeah, the burrito itself is not saucy, so it's not soggy or anything. I always tell myself that I need to try this burrito with my own hot sauce. So we've got some Cholula here. I'm wondering how this will be. Mmm. I think this might be expired. I need to know, do you guys like leftovers? I used to really hate having leftovers. Like if I had leftover food, I would just stuff it, force myself to eat it, which I'm totally against now because why would you overstuff yourself? It's gonna just make you feel sick. Why not just save it for later to enjoy? I love leftovers. Sometimes it's even better than having it fresh. Like pizza, this burrito, honestly, pretty good as leftovers. Um, happy Thursday. I didn't film my full leg day yesterday. So apologies for that. The gym was starting to get really busy yesterday. I kind of got my workout short. Not gonna lie, but I got all my squats in. So we're good. We did that. I wanted to get a workout in before my chiropractor appointment just so that I can shower and be clean when I go there. She will usually do massage with biofreeze and I don't I don't want to have to wash that off after and I, I feel like it's just better to go clean. I'm gonna go downstairs on the treadmill though because I'm running low on time. It's 7.50 now so I have just about an hour to get what I need to done. So if you didn't know, I recently put together this home gym and I did a video on it but having the Peloton and the Nordic Track down here has saved me so many days where I'm, I was just too lazy to go to the gym, but not lazy enough to skip my workout. The only thing is that I do kind of have to rearrange everything when I want to come down and use the treadmill because this is like a space saving one, as you can see, which I love. When it's not in use, other things can be put there. I just have to shift everything to the side. This bench. And the golf clubs. <laughs> Now the main garage light is on, but I did install these lights, which I actually never use. Whoa. I feel like, I don't know, it's like a little too bright, a little too fluorescent. Sure. I mean, how does it look? That looks pretty good, actually. I also keep a pair of running shoes here. <laughs> I love these Saucony's, and so I did snag a second pair of them because my first pair, I think I have to retire them soon. These are pretty new ones that I've only worn indoors. Like these are strictly used for the tread because I want to keep it pristine. Kind of extra, but it's okay because I have these pair and then <laughs> during Prime Day, I literally bought a third pair of them. Probably use those outdoors for whatever training cycle block I have next.
it was like five minutes late, but I'm now connected to the the tens machine, which is like the electro ele electrodes, electronodes. Sending it through my body to relax my muscles before the adjustment. And we also have a heat pad on, which is nice. Cool. Feeling good, feeling fresh. Well, my lower body is in a lot of pain. What is going on? Yeah. Uh oh. My upper body feels much relieved. Apparently, I had a lot of tension up there, which I can definitely see just because a lot more volleyball these days. Blocking, hitting, and volleyball, um, which I do have practice tonight. My quads feel so tight. This morning's run did not did not go well. It was hard, it was hard. It was an interval run with longer intervals. I'm talking like almost two mile intervals at a very fast pace, probably too fast for me. And I literally couldn't even hold that for like a lap around the track. A little bit discouraging, but it's fine. I tweaked the workout. I ended up walking a lot more than I intended to, but it's fine. We got it done and I made it to my appointment. I just pulled up to Phil's because I'm gonna treat myself to a coffee. I don't even remember the last time I bought a coffee in store. Honestly, such a big money saver just having coffee at home every morning. There's not even a place that I like enough to get it every single day. Like, I like my coffee pretty plain. If anything, I'll add a little bit of soy milk or a little bit of creamer. But yeah, something like Phil's is definitely too sweet for everyday coffee. Every now and then, it's nice and I do need to make a return at the mall. So, I just want something warm to say on while I walk around. Thank you. They always tell you to try it before going so that they can adjust it for you, but I feel like I always... It doesn't taste as sweet as normal, but I don't mind that. Mm. Yeah, maybe I could have gone a little sweeter. Mm. Uh, Phil's definitely brings me back to college because I had so many fills is when I was in school because we had one right by our campus. Today I got a large Tesora sweet and creamy oat milk stevia hot. Shout out to Relly for um, making this with love. Guys, this was literally probably probably $6 and then with tip on top of that, $7 to $8 for a coffee. Are you serious? No, no. You cannot be doing that. Can you fathom how much someone might spend if they get a coffee out every single day or like even three times a week? That's so much money just for coffee. We've always had a Keurig at home and more recently we have an espresso as of last Christmas. There's really no excuse for me to be buying coffee, but you know, again, on some days, it's just, it's just the move. It's just the right thing to do. I'm wearing so much red in my vlog so far. Like yesterday's gym outfit, it was black and red. This morning, it was black with a little bit of red. And then today, I'm gray and red. Also, my nails are red, which don't look close because they're not very cute. All right, I'm at Utica now, and I actually have this jacket right here. This is the one that I wanted to return. I do like it. I feel like I wouldn't get as much wear out of it as opposed to literally the tank top that I'm wearing now. I'm obsessed with it and it's from Uniqlo. Um, it has a built-in bra. I got this a couple weeks ago, but I have worn this so many times. I feel like I need to get the basic colors because they're just so good and they're on sale. If I exchange my jacket, I can get definitely white. I recently did a partnership with Uniqlo and since then I've just been, I have this newfound love for them. Oh, this green is cute too. I have a green tank similar to this. They're also not super, super cropped. It almost comes down to my belly button. These t-shirts are so good. I have the white version of this. Literally worn it so many times already too. <gasps> Wee, that's cute. These are really good staples and I love the length. All right, y'all, I had to rush home because I was getting ravenous, hungry. I didn't have time to eat after my run. First thing I put in my body was coffee, so. Yeah, girl's hungry. It's lunchtime. Got some rice. I've steamed up some kale, which I'm gonna just place right onto my plate. Create a little bed here. I'm gonna start the show. Yeah, which is like a Vietnamese pork, 
sausage thing? I don't know. Get some fish sauce. This is what you're gonna dip the yaw in. And this is like soup, and this stuff, so salty. But you just need a little bit. Squeeze the lime. Get it nice and citrusy. Dip the meat in there. I'll sometimes drizzle it over the kale. Just kind of use it as like a dressing almost. It has quickly become one of my favorite meals. Also, just so easy. Just had to cut this up. I have to send a picture too. My boyfriend and his mom. <laughs> I have been working here at the kitchen counter because sometimes my desk is just not cutting it so kitchen you counter it is my sister dropped off some food earlier i had just eaten lunch so i you know saved it for now it's like almost five o'clock i had practiced it an hour so i figured i might as well just eat now if i wait till after practice i'm gonna be starving so i need a little something beforehand the sandwich here it's like a tempura sandwich i don't know I put this in the fridge just because i didn't want it to sit out let's look at the inside come on focus Mmm. Mmm. And then I'm very intrigued with this. This is masubi, but it has spam egg unagi, which is like my favorite. It's eel. And then avocado. Ooh. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Thanks to my sister for these. Yum. Sunday's our next one. Y'all, we got worked today at practice. Holy crap. That was the best shower of my life. I have been pushing back my hair wash day every single day this week. Finally decided it's time. Full shower. Oh my gosh, we are gonna do an element because I sweat so much today. Everyone did. I don't know what it is this year, or like this season, but like every single gym that we've practiced in because we have different facilities that we're practicing we don't have like the most consistent practice schedule yeah it's just always so hot maybe we're just working really hard but all right i've got the lime flavor so ready for this you girls did not think ahead when it came to uh dinner so yes i did last minute doordash something guilty i was in the mood for some nudes so we got some oh, oh Put it on a plate because the bottom is oily. Garlic nudes, five spice chicken, a little bit of broccoli. Pretty sure the dasher was on a bike, so yeah, it was a bit of a mess, but it's here. Oh my gosh, it's spilling everywhere. Pretty simple meal. Honestly, a lot of nudes too, so I'll probably have extra or like leftover tomorrow. Pretty late right now. Oh my god, it's already 10:30. <laughs> 1024 to be exact yeah i showered and i was just laying or like sitting on the couch here because i just couldn't decide i had decision fatigue should i try to cook something but nothing sounded appealing so yeah we did doordash and we bought coffee today i swear my days are not usually like this but every now and then especially when i'm home alone because my parents are in vegas actually so it's just me i fear i have finished my food no leftovers that was delicious though. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Wow, look at this freaking color. This is this is popping. I just had a really productive little work sesh just now. I've been at my laptop all morning, but I do have a class scheduled for 12.15. Going to Soul Cycle, which I haven't done in so long, but Soul Cycle and Strava, they're doing a class and I'm doing a video for them. Fun little work outing. It's killing two birds with one stone because I get my workout in, but I also get to film and create content. Honestly, I have no complaints. <laughs> Basically, it's for the Tour de France all-female racing event. I got this little PR package from Strava a couple days ago, but it just has stickers. I got a little poster. Wait, my pajama shirt was them. Hold on, where did I put that shirt? I found it. <laughs> Such a cool graphic. Come on now. Yeah, I got some outfit inspo from them and I figured this would look good because Soul Cycle is white, black, yellow. And then these cycling shorts from Gymshark, they're really old, but I like the print or the text on here. I don't know, it just feels like very race day-esque. And then why the frick not? I have socks that somewhat match the bra. Threw on those featured socks. Also, please don't mind the mess behind me. It's been a bit of a, it's been a bit chaotic in here since Outs and Lens weekend. Yeah, I should really get that sorted out i'm probably gonna head out now just drive over so that i can be there early and like not stress about parking all right i just got oh why is my timer still going or my garmin oops okay whoopsies that was running for much longer than i was actually there for but finish that soul cycle class guys 
that was i'm not used to that i'm not used to the fast cadence the fast cadence always gets me it's like 130 150 rpm it's crazy there were some girls in there who were absolutely crushing it the lady right in front of me like i would always look at her if i was lost because they have you go on a certain foot lead with one foot and then you switch ah <sighs> yeah pretty humbling um a little intimidating but very fun i actually met a girl the nicest sweetest girl she said she tagged me in something on instagram so let me go find it curse it wait that's so cute oh look or I can maybe insert it onto the screen. The Soul Cycle class was actually a free community ride, which is nice because people can come take the class and not have to pay like 30, 40 dollars for it. Brings together different people. Obviously, I'm not the most experienced cyclist. Soul Cycle specifically because I do ride the Peloton at home, but it's very, very different. But yeah, my new friend, she was just telling me about how cycling and spin is her passion and she just gets so much joy from teaching it and riding to the music and dancing on the bike basically, which is so fun and awesome. She said she's not much of a runner. We all have our different things that we love and pour our effort and time into i dabble in a lot of things but it definitely for me is like the gym and running those are my happy places you know hang on that was a tough tough ride did sort of help flush out my legs a little bit i definitely turned down the intensity because i just i could i literally could not keep up <laughs> crank down the resistance a bit let my legs fall into it yeah i'm feeling good I've got element in a can here today which is so good this is the sparkling electrolyte water from them if you're ever on the go and you just need something already made and you want to sip out of a nice can these are also available again you can use my link mm, so good also i got another shirt every single person who took that ride got a shirt which is awesome i asked them for an extra large because i love an oversized shirt for sleeping it's okay oh all right it's almost 2 p.m now wow i need to find myself some food mm. your girl needs lunch so yeah took myself to rt rotisserie this is my favorite or my boyfriend and i's favorite like salad place i've been craving their chicken salad and then their truffle fries are so good and i thought it would be busier because it's like a friday afternoon i assume people's weekends are starting now but i'm literally the only person in the entire restaurant what the heck but yeah i'm just gonna eat here and then do some editing on my phone morning i picked up my parents from the airport and my mom is she's returning the favor yeah she's driving me to where i need to be so basically we have to drive across the city to like the fisherman's wharf area i don't know if i mentioned this but i'm going to napa today for court's birthday celebration her birthday was yesterday and we're getting picked up by a bus and it was like included in a tour so we also get to stop by two wineries and then they drive us back to the city frantically got ready threw my hair in a slick back pony don't even know if my outfit works but get a chance to look at a full size mirror. I just brought my small little camera because I only have a purse with me. I didn't want to lug around my big box. 
camera. Sorry, sorry. Got a sandwich here that my mom made. Thanks, mama. I was like, I need to eat something. I've got this half and then the cucumber. Guy, the cucumber. Oh, two halves and they're individually wrapped, which is so lovely. I would have just made myself bread, ham, and mustard, maybe. But this is this is fabulous. Like garlic spread. Damn. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's so much traffic. Oh, you gotta go through the marine, right? Marina, yeah. Yeah, yeah marine. Let's see. Oh yeah, you gotta go purpose video you know, through that tunnel. Hopefully we don't have to sit on the top though, because that would be that might be kind of horrendous. Going over the bridge. Wait. It's so windy. to be home by 10 p.m. The bus tour that we did was great. Visited two wineries. So yeah, got to taste quite a few different types of wine. Pretty much all fell asleep on the way back home on the bus ride, which was the perfect little power nap. We went back to courts, had cake. I decided to Uber home and kind of end my night there because I'm, I'm definitely tired and I have to be up relatively early tomorrow. I don't think I got as many horizontal shots for the vlog when we were wine tasting, but we took so many cute pictures. We're all wearing similar aesthetics. We we're wearing lighter colors, satins, boots. Boots was like a common denominator today. <laughs> yeah, you guys gonna be able to balance right there. Probably not the safest, but got a little pile of laundry here that I'm gonna sleep next to tonight. I'm so tired. I don't know why, but the past few days I just have not been getting very good sleep. I feel so groggy and restless in the morning. Whenever I go over to Christos, I swear I sleep like a rock. We also use a weighted blanket sometimes, and that is such a game changer. That really puts me to sleep. I feel like it helps so much. have discovered my new favorite coffee to make at home started with chocolate milk in my cup fair life a little bit of protein that plus the hazelnut flavored nespresso pod it tastes like nutella mm. oh no eventually today i'm gonna go on a run and i feel like all week i've kind of been dancing around this idea which i think is um you know it's happening it really is happening i haven't actually said anything but i am starting a new training plan and i basically started it mid this week i do have my next race planned if you guys can guess i want you to leave it down below this is something that i you know have always dreamed of doing especially after doing my first marathon it felt like a smaller local event but yeah i've always dreamt of doing like a big city marathon the opportunity came around and I could not say no. Could not pass it up. Basically my point is I've got my first long run today. All right, I just pulled my hair back and I'm gonna run in this high pony. I kind of like, I mean, okay, it's really messy. I didn't really try on this, but I, I don't know how to do French braids on myself or French braid in general. Ideally, I would have liked that, but I feel like this kind of mimics it. I just tied it twice here. I don't know, something different. Get my hairs on my face. Eight miles on the menu today. I figured I might as well bring some water with me because if you have the option to bring water, fuel with you on a run, you should do it no matter the length. It's just like, why would you, why would you torture yourself? Watermelon element is gonna go into my little bottles. I usually just split it up amongst the two. It's hard to get them exactly equal, but I can just sort of guesstimate. Go back and forth. Look it on like that. It's been a while since I've last used my actual running vest, which I know I'll definitely have to tap back into, but for these semi-long runs, I don't need as much water. I was cleaning out some purses and found these welches, so let's just pack these, shall we? Why not? Having chopstick is like a necessity for me. And then just my phone, really. Another beautiful day in Golgate Park. 
literally so foggy by my house. I'm like five minutes. What direction is this? I guess that's east. That's sunny. I'm at 4.5 miles. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I need to enjoy this because this may just be my shortest long run in a while. I was jokingly thinking to myself, like, oh, there goes my Sundays or there goes my Saturdays, whatever days I decide to do my long runs on, but no, 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 no. It's not gonna take over my life. I can still enjoy other things. It's all about balance. Oh, oh, oh. Um, keep your trash, people. Tuck into your leggings, put in your belt. Don't litter. That was so hard to open. It took me like two minutes. Awful. Hard to eat. Or at least if I'm trying to vlog. I need two hands.